Hi guys, welcome here at Color Your Life. I'm Max and once again I have an art journal page for you today. As usual, I let the inspiration simply guide me while crafting. And so I'm opening a new page in my art journal. I'm using a little bit of gesso here because some paint sit through in the middle. However, this was completely unnecessary because I decided to use some old book pages again. I'm tearing the pages into little pieces and adhering them afterwards to the page with matte medium gel. This time I put them diagonally. There's a special reason to do this, as I found a little stencil in our dollar store that immediately inspired me. What one has to do with the other, you will see in a moment. As soon as everything is dry, I'm cutting off the excess. And here's the stencil. I'm simply loving stars as they stand for luck and our dreams. And as you can see here, the diagonal paper stripes fit perfectly to the slightly turned position of the stars. Today I'm using Versa marking to transfer the stars. Instead of cutting them out of cardstock, I want to create them right out of the background by using clear embossing powder. So I'm spreading the powder over the star and brushing it off again in all those places that it should not stick to. Afterwards I'm melting it with the heat tool and so the powder seals the old book pages underneath. And I'm doing the same with the other stars of the stencil. In case you have a Versamark marker, you may use it for the smaller stars. And if not, the stamping pad will do anyways. And now we bring in the color. I love the Dilutions acrylic paints because they are so strongly pigmented. I'm applying them with a blending tool because this simply works great to control the blending of paints in the same way it does for inks. And as you can see I'm fully covering the stars at this point in time. And the magic comes now. I'm now using a smooth and slightly moist piece of cloth to simply rub off the paint from the stars. And here you can see that the embossing powder protected the background, which is now coming back again. It may not be that obvious now on the screen, but latest when we are outlining and shading the stars, you will see how it pops. As the stars are looking as if they are packaged, I'm trying to emphasize this even a little bit more. Therefore, I'm piercing little holes in all those places that the stencil lines guide me to. And then I'm simply threading package twine through these holes. Unfortunately, I do not have a big needle at hand and so I have to create one out of craft wire. And then I'm threading the twine through each of the holes and fix it with a bow at the ends. The threads on the back will simply vanish between the pages afterwards. As soon as the lucky stars are well packaged, I'm adhering the twine with liquid glue. Mm -hmm. 
Afterwards, I'm covering the whole page with matte medium gel. By this, I'm sealing the page and creating a surface on which I can better work with my markers afterwards. And then I'm outlining the stars with the markers and give them some dimension by shading and blending the color. Well, and then I had the feeling I had to doodle again. First, I only started to doodle the frame, but then I couldn't resist to do even more. I know that not all of you feel comfortable with doodling, but I think it's so very much relaxing. In between, the packages of luck are getting some highlights and then the frame gets some more features. I'm constantly changing black and white to build a contrast with each other and of course against the color of the background. The letters of today's saying should match the doodled frame and so I'm using an old stamping up stamp set to build them by stamping it several times onto white cardstock. Afterwards I'm cutting the single letters by using a little circle punch. And finally the letters will be adhered again with matte medium to the page. As soon as everything is dry again, I'm also outlining these to match the frame. To get some additional sparkles onto the page, I'm using stickles in orange and pink. Unfortunately, the camera does not pick that up very well. 
But as soon as this is dry, I'm covering some of the empty spaces with some glitter paste. I am using the stencil again for that and am applying the paste with a spatula. Well, and this is how it looks at the end. Autumn colors with lots of luck in packages. I'm hoping that you also have some of it in stock or at least have some good friends that will share theirs with you. Well, folks, and that's it for today. I hope you had fun and got inspired. And if you did, then please like, comment and share this video. And if this is your first time here at Color Your Life, then I would love to have you subscribe. And if you additionally click that little bell, you will be immediately notified as soon as a new video is uploaded. And if you like more inspiration, then I have here and here some other proposals for you. Just click on the bits to play them right away. Well, then there is nothing more to say than thank you so much for watching and hope to catch you next time again. Bye bye.